This is the Carl and Helen Berger Gallery. And this particular exhibition that's up right now is um, called Prison Art, and it's artworks that were made by incarcerated um, uh, people, and it's a really beautiful show. I'm Neil Tetkowski, I'm the gallery director, and essentially we have these uh, beautiful spaces on campus where our intent is to kind of integrate artwork with programming that's already happening on campus. Well, we have actually five galleries here at Kane University, and each gallery has its own, really, its own purpose, its own agenda. For instance, we have in the Human Rights Institute Gallery uh, a large 2,000 square foot space that deals just with issues that have to do with social justice and human rights. And in this gallery, we have about three shows a year. This is the Carl and Helen Berger Gallery, a student gallery where we probably do about 15 shows a year. And these would be graduating students. And it's sometimes their very first opportunity to be uh, exhibiting their work. And that's like really a big deal for them. Uh, then we also have uh, the Nancy Dreyfus Gallery over in the library. And in that space, we show regional artists and alumni and we do about eight shows a year there. And then we have uh, another gallery, the James Howe Gallery, where the Fine Arts Department is able to do exhibitions that relate to their own programming. So in total, we may be doing 35 shows a year, easily. Uh, this is a really unique exhibition um, in that all of these works were made in various uh, prisons and jails over a period of about 30 years. And these were all prisoners that um, actually signed up to be able to do artwork during their time. And it's just remarkable how creative um, these people are with uh, a limited amount of instruction and really a limited amount of materials as well. And for some of them, they continue doing their artwork for many, many years even until they get out. So this is one of my favorite pieces from the show and we set it up so it's pretty much the first thing that you see um, coming into the gallery. And essentially what you've got here is a riot happening on the um, premises of the, pre of the prison. And at first glance it just looks like a bunch of people fighting and I suppose that is what it is. But if you look more carefully, you can see other things happening as well. You can see uh, that up here, there are people uh, that could be escaping while all this is going on, right? I mean, you can interpret this however you want. You can see someone's kind of, something's going on here as well. Um, you can see the, the weapons that these people have and you have to kind of wonder, this doesn't really look like an actual, there's wires, it's probably something else. Here you can see a tattoo, love, hate, you see a swastika, <clears throat> excuse me, and some other details. You see the eagle, there's a skull back here. Look at here, mom. Um, you, the more that you look at this, the more that you see. Um, you here you see the back of someone's head. Here you're even seeing faces back here and here. More tattoos, another knife way up there. Look at, and, the, and what do we see up here? This is very important. It's very dark and it's hard to see. But these are policemen that are doing nothing, that are just looking on while the prisoners are uh, essentially killing each other. Uh, this piece, I was told, was made by a tall, handsome bank robber. At Kane University, we have a very diverse student body, and so uh, we have students from 70 different countries. So the complexity of finding your way in terms of cultural identity is something that we weave into the subjects of a lot of our exhibitions. Our intent is to kind of integrate artwork with programming that's already happening on campus. So sometimes we are dealing with, say, an exhibition that is dealing with issues of climate change, and then the science department is in here. Um, 
another, you know, this, this exhibition with prison art, we had criminal justice here as well. Um, so we like to do things that are interdepartmental and we like to do things that kind of uh, bring another angle, if you will, into various subject matter to get people to think about things in a new way and to kind of ramp up the conversation um, as well. Our mission here has to do with um, using the arts for cultural identity and to um, bring students into an environment that we think of as a safe space where conversations can go beyond uh, maybe the regular agenda of the classroom or even other social situations.